Hey, how's it going? Super short and sweet today, but why not? Let's keep it small. I just want to have a look at adding mouse click events to my game. I won't be implementing the logic because it really just extends from the uh, the mouse events. Oh, maybe I will in a future video, who knows. But for now, all I really care about is clicking on my board and setting setting pieces and things. So here I have my board. That looks nice. I'm just going to set it up so that when I click on the board, I can drop pieces down. But like I said, I'm not going to worry about. So, so the way this goes is the, I think it's the red or the black player goes first. One of them goes first, drops. They take turns dropping pieces. And then once they've dropped four pieces, the game enters another phase. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to get the pieces dropping. So I'll just go to my game file and then in my game state, I'll make a function. So I'll say, okay, let's make a public function and I'm gonna call this handle click. I'm going to borrow a mutable reference to myself because I will be changing my state. And let's say we get a click event, but we don't care about the X and Y on the screen. We care about the row and column. To access into the array, both of these will need to be U size uh, variables. And for now, let's just go um, print out the um, where the click occurred. So we'll go um, clicked at. And then remember the column plays the row of the X coordinate and the row plays the role, I mean, and the row plays the role of the Y coordinate. Okay, so super simple right now. All it does is just say, hey, you clicked over here. Now let's go back to the main and I can get, I'm gonna get rid of these lines here. So I'm just gonna start with a completely blank board. Okay, yep, and then where was I? Right down here, I'm going to add another event that I'll look for. So we'll say, hey, if the event matches, go mouse. And then we have all these options. I'm going to go with mouse button down and see we get all of these things. I don't care about them. I just care about the X and Y. So I'll just sort of get rid of everything else. Just got X and Y. And then I'll indicate with these double dots that there are other arguments that I'm ignoring. Okay, so we'll take that input and we'll perform this event. Now, what I need to do is I need to calculate the row and column where the click occurred. So let's start with the column. That's the um, X coordinate. Now, what I'll do is I'll take the X coordinate and divide it by the width. Well, I'll do this. I'll go divide by width, divide by five. However, mathematically, that is the same as popping that, that extra five onto the numerator. So in theory, that should be it. Now, just to get that into a U size variable, because this is an, an I32, I'll just write um, try into and unwrap. So that will convert it into the, the U size variable type. And then I'll do the same thing with the row, but just with the Y and the screen height. Okay, so I've got that. Now I'll take my game state and I'll say, handle that click at the row and column. And there we have it. Okay, so let's give that a go. Alrighty, so I'll click here. This should be zero, zero. Yep. If I go across, we go column one, column two, column three, column four, and I'll just, yeah, it'll max out at four and min out at zero. And I can click anywhere else and I'll get something meaningful. So like down here, 
is column one because it's one over and row two because it's two down. Okay, excellent. Now I'm, I'm happy with that. So as we saw, it was, it was um, minning and maxing out properly, but it is a good idea just to, just to add this check. So I'll say um, if the row is bigger than four or the column is bigger than four, then simply return. That's fine. We've just clicked completely off the screen or something. And it won't be less than zero because it's unsigned. Fingers crossed. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll go uh, self. Yeah, just set it red for now. So what we should get is everywhere we click, we're dropping red pieces. So I'll just go back and run this again. And now we'll click. There's a red piece. There's another red piece. It's just wherever I click, I can keep clicking on the same one. It won't. It's just overriding the um, coordinate. So the next step from here is to set up some internal state to track whose turn it is. And then, yeah, let's do that for the next video. So we'll, we'll track which player is going. Okay, so that'll be it for now. And uh, yeah, see you again in the next one. Bye.